just won awards? Won awards. Fucking right. awards? I'll give some gold. fucking gold, not double gold. San Francisco World Series competition 2019. Not double gold, though, bro. Gold. Not double gold. Sometimes gold's One out of the 18 people was like, no, nope, silver. Just ruined it for yeah. They could have been moved on to the finishing. <clears throat> they could have beat Sagamore yeah. Cast Port. Should have. I don't Ooh, know. That's rude. What if we We're about it? to find out. So, Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. I opened that up with a little baby bird that was down in I here. thought you were dying. Nope, I was trying to hold it in. I thought you were just praying. Like a polite human being. Oh. Tonight, we drink. Oh, that wasn't bad. Ooh. I feel like that would have been really good next to the mic. Got some barrel dovetail. Sounded like it was in there. So, that was actually a good amount of aggressive. The whiskey made the noise because you were so aggressive. So, Barrel Dovetail is a uh, whiskey from Barrel Craft Spirits, the number one most confusing brand of whiskey <laughs> on the planet. So, this one finished in... Oof. Rum. Rum. Port. Pipe. Port pipe. We don't, we don't know. LBV port pipe. I says. don't know what a port pipe is, but it was. It was. It, it says, says that. It's late bottle vintage, which means it was super unpopular. Uh, <laughs> and then, was that it? No, one other one. French. Chauvignon. Oh, yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon. And Dunn Vineyards Cabernet Barrels. Oh, maybe it wasn't Sauvignon. So, two wines, yeah. one rum. Two wines and a rum. Black strap rum, as they call it. That's their, their words. Yeah. I would assume that's a different kind of rum. Not like a spirits expert. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh. Excuse me? They said that they, it took them a year to make it, to what's, blend it. What's funny is it product. really does smell like rum and pork. Like, <sighs> heavy. It, it is rummy. It's very rummy, it's and it's very really rummy. 40. <laughs> Those are birds. Now. They are now. You're welcome. <laughs> I think that, wait. Adjective. That's adjective. I was going to say, wait. Said, well, it's like a verb is an action. Yeah. This so, is a descriptor. Yeah, adjective. I know, but I was describing it as it was an action. I hate they're, you. They're uh, porting it. That'd be, an they're, ad, that'd be an adverb then. They ported this, and you know what else they did? They rummed it. So those are verbs. So there you go. Now my sense works. All right. I like it's an adverb. It smells I don't like. Know. Cola y, uh, like rum, like cola, cola types of flavor. Smells, it smells. Kind of got like a syrupy, it, like it smells it really rich. It does smell syrupy. It mm-hmm. smells so dark and yeah. like, um, it's, not, it's not a fruit. What is it? It's a. Uh, it's super cola y. I can't get off that now. It's the, um, what is it? What is it? Oh, Come it on. reminds me of Christmas. Come on. Anise. That's what it smells like. No. Yeah. I have some in the house. I'll go get it, dude. You're like, oh, there's wow, like there's a, definitely in there. Like a chalkiness to it as well. I think so. I think so. Oh my god. I keep trying to get a big whiff and I keep forgetting it's cast strength. 61.9%. ABV. What is that? 60 what? 61? Oh, I thought I said 69.1. My brain, hey, man. No. my brain 61 literally was dyslexic. 62, like, call it 124. I said dyslexic. Yeah, you know about them dicks. My brain's dyslexic. All right. <laughs> Whew. I need a second. This is, this is getting... My nose is getting clogged right this up. This is crazy, because like, there's a lot of stuff going on to it, but I don't feel like it doesn't dark, work together. Dark black cherry, like dark sweet black cherry. Like a... Oh, my God. Like syrupy, like the um, like if you get the the candy cherries for like an old fashioned something like that. Oh my gosh. Ooh. You have water out here. It's hot, man. Why is that kicking my ass? Pussy. Yeah. Uh, apparently, that is warm. Like dark. Well, that's like a. It's so rich. And it is chocolate cherry, really. If you've ever had cherry coke with grenadine, holy shit, that might be perfect. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Uh, or it's not cherry coke. It's just coke that they put grenadine in. That's cherry coke. Yeah. Okay, that's cherry. Okay, coke. I'm sorry. If you go to Buffalo Wild Wings and yeah. you say, "Can I get a cherry coke?" They bring you coke with grenadine in it. Boom. But it's almost no. Like, they bring you grenadine with coke. In that's it. a good point. Yeah. This is why it's delicious. Yeah. Um, I, give me the sugar. <laughs> one of those. Uh, there's a special cherry people use for old fashions. There she is. Nope. They're. Uh, Luxardo, I think. Oh, yeah. This is, the, like, those yeah, cherries, if you eat one of those by itself, that kind of tastes, it tastes like that's in here. This almost tastes like an insanely high-proof cocktail. There's so many different, like, fruity, dark, rich flavors in it. 
It's very syrupy. It's very thick yeah. and viscous. And then all of a sudden you realize that thickness is burning your mouth. Man, that is like literally, yeah, like you said, like a high proof cocktail. It's li it's like that um, the actual syrup from that stuff. If you just proof the hell out of that. Like the, Dude, the cherry um, yeah, liqueur, like it. it's proofed. Woodford made those uh, old fashioned cherries, they put them in jars, and it has Woodford in it, I believe, or they're aged, or they're like soaked in Woodford Reserve. Um, but they're they're black cherries, and those were delicious. I like this so much more than I thought I was going to do. I'm a fan. I'm a really big fan. I'm a, you know what I think we are, that we don't experience very often? It's uh, fans of barrel proof finished yeah. whiskeys. Yeah. Name, besides... Perfect. All it's not barrel proof, it's like 55, 110. Yeah. But so Angels Let Me Cast? Yeah. Fans. Super good fans, This, actually. I'm enjoying. We don't, I don't, most people cut these the barrel proof, finished yeah. uh, whiskeys down, like quite a bit. And I feel like a lot of times what you do is you get whatever it's finished in, and it just destroys you. Sometimes. Whereas, Angels like, the, the whiskey is really, really, like, cutting that out and competing with that flavor. So you're still getting good whiskey flavor, and then you're just piling on with those finished flavors. I'm a really big fan of this. Oh man, the longer it sits, the more it opens up, the more rummy it gets, I feel. It is crazy dark. We had we had like uh, a decent amount of the glass at one point. It is very dark. Yeah. Yeah, this this like reminds me of that uh, the Pilar, the um, Yeah, the one the rum in bourbon, in bourbon barrels, barrels, like that that same syrupy richness yep. out of it. Oh my god, there's that sting! It's so good. <laughs> I think I heard you inhale over here. Woo! Drunk from your from nose in the whiskey. Crying. I like this. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. We were, we were shooting this because I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this. It's a raider-ish bottle. MSRP is around 80. Um, I paid 40 something. Uh, but uh, I believe it's supposed to be, uh, I think people see it for around 100. Man. That's, I, that's complex. There's it a is. lot of complexity. There is a lot there, going on. For real. That, that port, I think, kicks it to another it level. Comes, the port comes in yeah, nice and And the, the finish. It comes in oh, late. Oh, so good. It comes in to, like, soothe you. The rum comes in, kicks in the door, and has, wants to party. Yeah. And then as the rum, like, gets drunk and fades out, the port's like, I'll cuddle you. You know what so, I mean? So, yeah. Woo. Like, it comes in super spicy and hot. And then, like, it fades out into that subtle, like, chocolatey rich port flavor that you want. Oh, With, I'm such a fan. Man, I'm a fan. It's an interesting bottle of whiskey. If you can tell, we like this a lot. <laughs> it's definitely interesting. There's, there's, um, I feel like there's a lot to say about it. What do you grade it? You let's do grades. Go into a grade. 80 bucks. $80 MSRP. Normal, normally 100 in a lot of stores. I'm gonna, I have to give this two bits. I have to. If you like sense. finished whiskey, this is me. You have to buy this. If you like finished whiskey, 100%, there's no way someone won't pick that and be like, dang, that is a good bottle. That's a treat. That's fantastic. That's dessert. You know what? It's dessert whiskey. It is. Um, if you're not so big into dessert whiskey, or dessert whiskey, finished whiskey, Either one. I still think it's like a solid B plus. I think if you want an experience. You walk past it. If you want an experience. Both together, flat around A minus. Don't drink this during a movie you want to pay attention to. No, there's a lot going on here. It's really hot, which is going to take your mind off the movie. On top, it drinks really warm. And then you're going to be drunk, so you won't remember the end of the movie. On to, that's a good point. <laughs> I didn't even think that through. And on top of that, um, I feel like Ooh. you trying to comprehend what's going on is going to detract from detract your experience. A little bit. Yeah. All right, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Did you grade it? This is the end of the video. I didn't even give it a grade <laughs> because I don't even care, dude. And I don't even know the format of our own YouTube channel. So you want to give that a grade? I'm going to give it a B plus. Um, I don't know. It's one of the better <laughs> finished whiskeys I've ever had. Yeah. I like the barrel proof aspect of it. The cast strength seems... It kicks it up a lot. Seemingly it's a level. adds a lot of complexity yeah. because we added a small amount of water and it... Dra eight, eight, eight drops probably an ounce. It swoops some of the complexity out from us. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, appreciate it. Patreon. Support us there if you can. Teespring. If you can't, below. Just, you know, like, comment, subscribe like the first ones because those are all free, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah, behind the scenes on Patreon. Well, um, there's some good ones on there this were one, some I'll tell you that. From this video and the last one. So, oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We're thanks for watching. Proofs in the port. Damn. I just feel like I was just. We really derailed right there at the end. <laughs>